If you watch daytime television anytime between 1972 and 2007, then the odds are good you at least caught some of Bob Barker's legendary work on The Price is Right. Bob was such an important fixture in the game show and daytime TV world, he became a world-famous host and a beloved entertainer. And while Barker is still alive and kicking, he just turned 99. It's a remarkable feat and his fans are hoping he'll make it to triple digits. He's had health scares over the years but has managed to get through them, thanks in big part to the love and care of his longtime girlfriend, Nancy Burnett. So join us as Facts First presents Bob Barker's girlfriend confirms the rumors about his health. Now, you might be expecting any news about the health of a 99-year-old will be bad. But according to Bob Barker's longtime girlfriend, Nancy Burnett, Barker's actually doing great. In a recent interview with Closer Weekly, Nancy revealed that although Bob is nearing the 100-year mark, his health is about as good as one could hope for in a person that age. She admitted his memory sometimes fails him, but that kind of issue is fairly expected in someone that old. She credited a lot of Barker's longevity and continued good health to his diet. Barker has long been a vegetarian, and Nancy said he also adds in a meal replacement supplement each day that is vegan. Nancy noted many people who are nearly 100 years old tend to have frail figures that are highly susceptible to injuries. She said Barker is the opposite, calling his frame sturdy and saying his weight is where it should be and that he's quite strong. Previous Health Scares like most nonagenarians, it hasn't been a fully smooth ride in the health department for Barker. He's had a few well-known issues, dating back more than 20 years. For starters, he had a health scare in 1999 when he was visiting Washington, D.C. to testify before Congress on a law that would keep elephants from being included in traveling circuses. But before he could testify, he suddenly felt an abnormal tingling in his right hand. He was admitted to a local hospital, where doctors discovered he had a partially blocked artery. Fortunately, they were able to surgically remove the blockage, and Barker went home with a clean bill of health. Things were fine for a couple of years, but then in 2002, he had a stroke while sunbathing. He was admitted to the hospital and seemed to fully recover from it. But then, six weeks later, he was back in the hospital as surgeons had to operate on his prostate gland. This was also a successful operation. His proclivity to spend a lot of time working on his tan in the sun has also led to frequent issues with skin cancer. Fortunately, Barker has always been fast to get any skin abnormalities checked out, as well as regular screenings with his dermatologist. So while he's had several bouts of skin cancer, they've all been mild, and he's been able to get them easily removed before they spread. He had another scare in 2015 after he'd already retired from hosting The Price is Right, when he tripped and fell down on a sidewalk just outside his home. Luckily, two police officers happened to be right there and saw the fall. They had him taken to a hospital where he was treated for an injury to his knee as well as a cut on his forehead. Then, in 2017, he fell in his house. He went to the ER, courtesy of a ride from his maid, and was soon released after mild treatment. Finally, in 2018, Barker was hospitalized for intense pain in his back, but it's unclear if that issue was resolved or if it has continued. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Faxverse if you haven't already. He doesn't watch his old show. Nancy revealed Barker doesn't just keep his body in top shape, but also his mind. She said he's an avid reader, especially when it comes to books about animals or about history. Barker apparently has a huge collection of books at his home, mostly focused on those two genres. He's particularly fond of American military history. She said he does like to watch TV, but that mostly he's fond of shows about animals. Interestingly enough, Barker doesn't watch The Price is Right. In that same interview with Closer Weekly, Nancy said his reasoning is it's a totally different show than in the years he hosted it. So she said he prefers to watch movies or a different show instead of checking back in on his old stomping grounds. This is a seemingly new phenomenon, however, at least according to a friend of the legendary game show host. Because in a Closer Weekly article from 2020, one of Barker's friends revealed that he did, in fact, watch The Price is Right. According to that unnamed friend, Barker would watch the show from time to time and fully enjoyed the more recent incarnation hosted by Drew Carey. And this is perhaps because it reminds him of all the great years he spent as host. While Barker certainly understands it's just a TV show, he's proud of the work the show does and likes to point out that it was, and continues to be, a great and entertaining distraction for people every day. 
At one point, he was quoted as saying he hoped it allowed people to forget their problems as they watched, even if it was only for a little while. Donkey Land Bob Barker has long been an animal rights activist and spokesman. Apparently, Nancy also shares this passion, and it's something the two have bonded over and worked on for years. One incredible result of this bond has been Donkey Land. Bob and Nancy founded the Wildlife Preserve and Sanctuary dedicated to helping save wild burrows in 2012. The foundation's goal is not only to save the lives of the wild burrows, but also to advocate and educate the public about their plight. As of today, there are only two spots in California where wild burrows roam free on private property. Donkey Land helps maintain these lands and vows to make sure the burrows remain free and protected. The project was certainly a long time coming for Barker and Nancy. They actually met in 1983 at an animal rights event, and they've spent the years since working on behalf of animal rights everywhere. Other Animal Rights Activism Barker was first public about his animal rights passion when, in 1982, he started ending each episode of The Price is Right with a message about helping to control the pet population by having pets spayed or neutered. Then, in 1987, he publicly came out against awarding fur as prizes in the Miss USA pageant. He was supposed to host the event, but after the producers refused his no-fur request, he stepped down as host. He elevated his activism two years later, when he accused the American Humane Association, as well as some media projects, of mistreating animals. Unfortunately, Barker faced a backlash in the form of a $10 million lawsuit against him for libel and other accusations. In the 1990s, his activism continued. He started a foundation called the DJNT Foundation that has collected and distributed millions in funds to help animal rescue facilities around the country, as well as neutering programs for animals. And he's been incredibly generous with his own money as well when it comes to helping protect and save animals. He gave $1 million to Columbia Law School, which was to go directly towards studying ways to further animal rights. He gave a similar donation to University of Virginia's law school for the same purpose. His giving has increased in more recent times. For example, a ship was secretly purchased by the Sea Shepherd Conservation Society in 2010 that has been used to stop Japanese whaling boats from hunting whales in the Southern Ocean. Barker gave $5 million to this purchase, and in return, they named the ship after him. He also donated $2.5 million that year to PETA to help them construct their Los Angeles office. Now it's time to hear from you. Do you think Bob Barker will be alive and well into the triple digits? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.